Yo. So, 24 weeks on testosterone. Um, how, there's not already been any significant change since last week. Um, what was I going to say? I'll get my next, my next testosterone injection in two weeks. Um... And the reason my voice sounds a bit funny today is I don't think it's testosterone, but I, I've had a cough. And I've been coughing a lot, so I think my throat's a bit funny. So, or it could be a mixture of testosterone and a bad throat, I don't know. But, yeah, so I, I, don't, know, I don't know if this is a true reflection of how my voice sounds usually. Um, but, yeah, I'm just, I'm alright. I've just had, yesterday was quite stressful because... No one was doing anything properly because <laughs> um, I had um, fraud on my account uh, a few weeks ago and um, basically when you start out the paperwork, they, they the fraud team send you a, one letter to like of the transactions that have come out that day and to tick what's yours and what's fraud. So, and that was all fine, that was perfect, that, you know, all correct details and everything. And then they send you another letter um, about um, confirmation saying, you know, yeah, that's fraud, rah, rah, rah. we'll credit it back to your account, so that's fine. But that letter was all in my birth name. <laughs> and even in my wrong title, it was just ridiculous. And, like, this is from the fraud team. I was furious because... Every time I've had fraud, which is this is the third time now, every that sp one specific specific letter always comes in the wrong details. I'm like, how does that happen? You're in the fraud team, anyway. I went into the bank not because I couldn't have kept my cool because I was too angry about it. Because I'm just like, this is ridiculous. You're the fraud team. You should be having the correct details. But I think. What has happened? I think that they're in that they think I'm two different people. I'm just like the lady was like obviously explaining. I hadn't. I haven't even said I'm trans or whatever. I just didn't say anything. And um, I don't even. Yeah, I didn't say. I didn't say that at all. And she was just like, yeah, it's the same person. Like it's not a different person. What are you talking about? <laughs> So, yeah, that was really cool that she just, yeah, she didn't really ask me any questions. She didn't, you know, about changing name, title, stuff like that. Now she she was obviously quite aware of, you know, trans people, which was pretty cool. But, yeah, I, I said to her I couldn't have kept my call with him because I was too angry about it. And she was just like, yeah, I'm not surprised. But, yeah, she was pretty cool. Sorted that out for me. And then, um... Tried to get him a new phone yesterday as well, but I didn't have proper ID, so they wouldn't let me pick it up. I'm like, you order it online, you don't need like you don't show ID online, so why do you need to see a picture of my face in the shop? It don't make any sense. As long as I got my card that I paid it on. Oh, so anyway, it's that really annoyed me because this current phone that I'm recording on, the charge port is broke, and like, I'm due for an upgrade anyway. But, so yeah, I'll only charge if I'm freaking holding it in. It's so annoying. And then what else happened? Oh, and then I got my letter for the PIP, um, face-to-face -face assessment. Oh, souls. They give you 10 days notice. It's next Wednesday. I'm like, yeah, that's a lot of notice, isn't it? And then what else happened? There's something else. Oh, yeah, in Southampton, she was like, oh, the only thing we can do is post you your... Uh, we're not allowed to post you your prescription. You have to come and get it. I was like, well, that's not happening. I'm not coming up to Southampton every two months just to pick up a prescription. No, it's not happening. So, but, you know, I I did lose my shit with her a bit yesterday because I was just like, it's unacceptable, I don't know. <laughs> You can't expect somebody that doesn't drive and somebody that is ill, I, you know, I have got chronic illness to come up to Southampton every two months. You know, it's expensive. But she, I spoke to her today, she was very nice and I, um, someone's going to take me up there Friday to pick it up because I run out Thursday, so I, I need it this week. 
and um and then I've she's made me an appointment for twenty second of March, which is cool. And then we'll talk about um um being um seeing another doctor closer because then they'd be able to prescribe it because it's just, it's just it's not allowed to the gps aren't allowed to prescribe it it's got to come from a hospital i don't quite understand why but whatever <laughs> doesn't make sense to me it's just something to do with dorset in the area i don't know whatever but yeah so that's all it thankfully that's one thing sorted. And the bank sorted, but you know, I won't know that until I get fraud on my account again, which I hopefully hopefully won't, but you never know. This is three times in three years, so I'm likely to have it again. Um Pit thing I need to sort out someone coming with me, because I don't want to go on my own. And what was the other thing? Phone thing. Ugh. I'll sort that out I'd, at some point, I'll do it over the phone. I just haven't got the patience for it at the moment. I'm hoping I can sort that out tomorrow. But I think I need a little snooze soon. <laughs> I'm tired. Because I didn't get to bed till like 3 a.m. this morning. So, and I've just been running around there and stuff. And I'm just, ugh. I just want to get in for a sleep. Um, and then I'll upload this and I need to get to the shop as well because I need it. I need to go to the chemist and order some medication and I need some stuff because I've run out of bits and bobs. Other than that, transition stuff's going alright, to be honest. It's not it's not that there's ever a problem really, it's everything else around in it. The rest of my life is shit. No, that's good really, it's alright. It's just I'll work. But yeah. Anyway, that is it for this week. So Peace.